In this session, you'll learn basic tips for safe enjoyment of recreational paddle boating in kayaks, canoes, and similar vessels under oars. You'll learn what to do before getting underway, how to proceed safely, and steps to take if you encounter difficulty. What problems are we trying to avoid? Not taking vessel-specific training and boating safety courses. Not having a vessel safety check or placing an orange if found decal on your boat. Wearing water retaining clothes like t-shirts and jeans that make you colder faster when wet. Not putting on a proper life jacket, although there are many great choices available for paddle sports. Not having a means of communications on board and not telling anyone your plans. Failure to bring other paddling essentials on board. Improper loading with too much weight in the bow. Not preparing for changing weather conditions. Planning to spend all day paddling your first time out in a canoe or kayak. Paddling under the influence, which is illegal in all states, as well as more dangerous on water than on land. Not being responsible for your canoe or kayak's operation. Not avoiding larger vessels in narrow channels. And not being visible at night or during the day. So, how do we do it right? Take vessel-specific training and boating safety courses in advance before planning to go out on the water. Contact the United States Power Squadrons or U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary to schedule a free vessel safety check and obtain an if-found decal to help with crew rescue and boat recovery in case of an incident. Dress for the water, not the air temperature, in bright colors for visibility. Clothe yourself for immersion and wear fast-drying attire. A wetsuit or dry suit will keep you warmer than other options. Choose from many attractive alternatives and wear a Coast Guard approved life jacket whenever you paddle, adjusted to fit snugly and comfortably. Keep signaling devices, a whistle or horn plus a mirror or flares, readily accessible. Have a way to communicate, such as a waterproof VHF DSC marine radio, and know the proper way to hail Channel 16 for distress. A personal locator beacon or PLB device will provide added protection by transmitting your location via satellite in an emergency. Leave a float plan with a reliable person. Who's on board, where you'll put in and take out, your expected route, when you'll be back, and what to do if you're not. Know your limits, start small, an hour long, one or two mile outing, and work up to longer voyages. Load properly with at least six inches of freeboard for a fully loaded canoe, including people. Sit inside kayakers should carry a paddle float and pump. Place stowed gear low in the boat for the comfort of paddlers and attach it to the hull to prevent loss in case of capsizing. Place heavier items toward the stern so the bow rides higher to help the boat move more easily through the water. Know how to reboard in case of flooding or capsizing and practice in advance. Always carry drinking water and stay hydrated. Treat weather forecasts like the best case scenario and plan for adversely changing weather conditions. Check tides or river levels and note when the sun will rise and set. Don't paddle if you shouldn't drive. Intoxicants are even more dangerous on the water and BUI laws apply to all vessels under oars. Be responsible for your boat. Avoid larger vessels in narrow channels and high traffic areas. If out after dark, you must exhibit required lights according to the NAV rules. A flashlight showing a white light can generally meet this requirement. Be aware of factors like fog and glare. If you're between a power boat and the sun, low on the horizon, the operator almost certainly won't see you. Have an exit strategy at all times. Know the nearest safe landing if a fast-moving thunderstorm approaches. Don't wait for bad weather. If you sense a change for the worse, get off the water right away. Further improving your skills is one of the joys of paddling. Take additional hands-on training courses that cover safety issues as well as operational techniques. Practice in safe conditions with instructors or experts to expand your paddling abilities.